when it comes to investing in hot sectors poised for growth, thematic ETFs offer compelling exposure. And here now to discuss how investors can utilize model portfolios from a thematic perspective is John Mayer. He is the Chief Investment Officer at Global X ETFs. Thanks for joining me today, John. Thanks for having me. All right, so first off, why should investors be looking to thematic ETFs in their portfolios? You know, when you think about traditional portfolio management, you look at past patterns that repeat themselves over time. Well, with thematics, you're looking at more of a future-looking approach, more of a forward-looking approach. So when you mix thematics with more traditional uh, asset allocation investing, looking at historical patterns from the past, it's a very nice complement, and you're encompassing the, the, overall the overall market. That's right, and so at Global X, thematic ETFs are your specialty. So talk to us a little bit about the range of themes that you cover. Sure, first thematic investing is really fun to talk about. I mean, who wouldn't want to talk about uh, cars that drive by themselves or robots that can do things for you? And financial technology may be a little less exciting than some others, but certainly pertinent. So we get the, the opportunity to talk about these very exciting things, but these very exciting things are really our future. And how are they going to be incorporated into the overall economy? So what we're seeing is that there are structural changes going on in the, the economy in different sectors. How you, your every day is being disrupted in some way. You know, you look at your phone and you look at all the apps that you use on the phone, whether it be how to get to work, how to turn on, turn on your lights, how to bank, pay your friends through Venmo, PayPal. It's all being disrupted and we capture that with some of these themes. That's right. So when you're talking about really utilizing these themes in a portfolio structure, investors who are interested in getting exposure to a lot of these tech themes that you're talking about, how do you go about constructing a portfolio that gets you exposure to these disruptive themes? Well, first of all, our thematic ETFs, they're ETFs, so they're, they're index-based, so they're rules-based. So in, in, in determining what companies go into a specific theme, whether it be artificial intelligence, robotics, big data, fintech, there's a revenue screen for the co underlying companies within the ETF. So we're looking for more pure play companies in a particular area. There's certainly, whether it be uh, financial technology or cloud computing, that aspects of, of those themes that are in you know, larger companies, but we're trying to focus on companies that are just focused on some of these themes. And maybe one day, some of these companies will be part of larger companies. So the first concept is to find those pure plays. The second is, how do you mix different sectors together? And I, I think that's a complicated um, aspect to putting different themes together. We actually look at forward sales growth. Again, it's a forward-looking metric. Themes are a forward-looking concept. And then we mix that with historical patterns. Right, so what do you think the benefit is of screening and sorting companies by theme versus sector? Because there are also a lot of ETFs that are, are tracking sectors. So what's the benefit of, of looking to that theme and not really um, minding the exact sector categorization. Sure. I think there's, there's a, a nice compliment. So you, you can look at industrials. What's disrupting industrials? Artificial intelligence and robotics. What's it, it, disrupting financial, uh, financials, the sector, financial technology? And if you look at the overlap between some of these themes with some of the sectors that they're matched to, there's a very small amount of overlap. In, in many cases, there's no overlap. So you're not double counting and you're looking for that disruption aspect. So again, mixing those two together, traditional gig sectors along with something that's disrupting that sector, I think is advantageous, especially on the investment side. All right, and then when it comes to again, constructing a portfolio with these themes, what should investors be thinking about when they're utilizing thematic ETFs in a portfolio? Sure, I would be remiss if I didn't say, you have to think about risk. You always have to think about risk. And with some of these themes, you, they tend to be smaller and mid-cap companies that are more momentum growth oriented type stocks. So you have to think, you have to be thoughtful on how you put this into a larger portfolio and you have to understand your risk profile. 